Should parents interfere with their children's choices? Great question. Boy, that matters to every mom and dad out there, right? It's what we're gonna talk about, stay with us. Well, this is one of those topics we're gonna talk about today that, uh, I don't know if it's not fun to talk about, but I mean, it's certainly relevant and applicable to just about everybody who has children. Uh, Liz and I have five boys we raised uh, through the last few years. Our oldest is 26, so we still have two that are home, one that's 16, one that's 19, living with us. And, you know, the question, should parents interfere with their children's ability to choose or their children's choices, is fairly broad. Right. I mean, you could pop in a lot of choices about whom they should marry, choices about should they serve in the military, choices about their career. We specifically wanted to talk about children's choices about God, about faith, about having belief. Right. And in our family, we've raised all our children in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And so far, two of them have chosen not to have anything to do with that religion. And I know in our faith, that's like, oh gosh, your kids aren't members, da-da-da-da-da. Well, but I mean, they, there's kind of a backlash right. towards that, I would yeah, say. Yeah, there's a stigma or whatever, or what did you do wrong, wrong or, or what have they done wrong. And to be, to be fair... It's not that they have chosen to not have anything to do with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. It's just that they've chosen to not be fully practicing members of the church. No. Both were baptized into the church, um, both at a certain age. In the Mormon church, uh, young men can receive uh, a lesser priesthood at the age of 12. Both of them chose to do that. In fact, we left it to both of them to make that choice. Right. And One of them said, I don't know if I want to, and then he chose to, and... But yes, at a certain age, they kind of decided to exercise. As teenagers. They exercise if they wanted to be practicing or not. And, you know, we're certainly not representatives of the church in any way, shape, or form, except how we live our lives the best we can. But we're not official right. representatives. But our choices were that at a certain age where we felt like they really were capable of choosing, which we believe technically is the age of eight, when they choose to be baptized, that they have agency and can make well, their own choices in And that especially sense. when it comes to religion, how can you force your faith on anyone? Exactly. How can you require that your child have the same faith? It's such a personal thing and something they have to learn for themselves. And I think that's kind of true in, I mean, we have a son that's married now. I am not going to be giving him advice or saying he needs to do things a certain way unless he wants to ask unless for, he asks my, about it. Right. for my opinion. He's a man. My 26-year-old, my 20, how old's Matt, 21? It's the same thing for them is they are old enough to make their decisions, who they want to marry, whether they get married. Well, and that's a good point you're making, do. but I mean, they are adults. But when right. they were children... Did you, you certainly didn't have the exact same right, right. feeling on that. You know what I mean? You, as, as legal guardians and parents, you have to make certain choices and, for them. But you're right. I mean, we basically, we basically both re recognized that, you know, their salvation, their happiness as it's related to God and faith is an individual set of actions and, and choices and beliefs. And so... We've seen enough kids grow up that rebelled against it to the extent that they never, ever believed and never will come back or never have, you know, they, they vow that they'll never have anything to do with it because their moms and dads made them do this and made them do that. I don't think we were ever really that strong fisted with any of them. You know, we encouraged them, we invited them. And while they were of certain ages, they definitely weren't going to stay home. Right. They had to be with us at church and in their meetings and things well, like that. Well, and you know, like when our oldest was 16, it's like, you can try out other churches if you want. Go ahead and Feel go free. to these other churches. Right. I mean, we did the same thing with another child, but it comes to a point where it has to be their decision. You cannot force this on anyone, and, and nor should you, in and, our opinion. Right, and, and for us, the reason this question is even relevant, right? For a lot of people that are asking, what do you do with children who make their own choice and they don't choose your faith? The key is, is that they're still our children. Oh, yeah. The key is, is that we want to be a happy family. That's what we're all about. And so we love the living crap out of them. Like 
we want them to know that their decisions and their choices of what they're gonna, who they're gonna believe in and what they're gonna follow or study has no bearing whatsoever on the fact that they are our children and we believe that they are sealed to us for eternity and that someday, somehow, hopefully, we will all share the same, exact same set of faith and values. But until then, or even if not, we love, we love them right. and accept them. Now, there are behaviors that we do not accept because we're parents and we won't allow certain things in our house. And we certainly don't want certain things happening outside of our house if they're illegal or immoral in some way. So we're, we're rigid we love. on those. But, but yeah, when it comes to matters of conscience and faith and your heart conscious, con- conscience, that's your thing. And at a certain age, at a certain level of responsibility, we dare not interfere with how you feel and think about stuff. Well, and I think our boys know, and I think they respect us enough that if they are doing things we don't approve of, they're not going to do it at our house. Right. And back to my original point, with all of that love that we have for them and respect we have for them, for, for us to say that they have nothing to do with the church is, is simply wrong. In other words, it makes it sound like they've shunned it, they've left it behind, they want nothing to do with it. It's not true. In fact, if you were to say that to each of them, they might correct you and say, no. I'm dating a woman who's LDS, or I still t- like friends that are LDS. I, I still appreciate who you are and what it, what you've done for me. I'll and still attend certain events. I'll still have prayer with you. I still say amen. I'll still even say the prayer. You know, there, right. there, there, there's still some of the basic practices of the faith that are part of who they are. And I don't think that they would even look back and curse them and go, gosh, I wish my parents hadn't raised me a Mormon. They just go, I'm not a practicing Mormon now, but I, 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 the faith, the people, it's all good. You know, the things that we contribute to the world in terms of service and health. Right, and, they're not like yeah. hating us for raising right. them healthy. And my point is, I think because of the love and the freedom that we gave them, the agency that they could exercise, they didn't turn into, cur- I curse and rue the day that my parents ever baptized me into the church, and now I'm an anti-Mormon, right. and I'm adding negative comments to this post because I'm so upset and bitter by my upbringing in the church. We're sorry that you had that experience, but if most parents could be like us, yeah. no, that, we could have totally screwed that it are up. facing that kind of opposition, you know, it's all about what Jesus says. Just love, 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 love. You know, if you'll just love them, things will be okay. Everything will be all right. All you need is love. Schwamp, da 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 da. Wow. The Beatles. That's good stuff. I don't know. Or not. We'd love to hear your comments. What experiences have you had with children who've gone wayward from your core set of beliefs? It's so painful and hard for you. We'd like to hear a little bit about that. And please take the time to subscribe, and we'll see you next time.